Hello, my name is Taylor and I'm from Aurora Middle School. Today I will be teaching you hands-on equations. So for starters, this is a green cube. It means a negative constant. This is the red cube. It means a positive constant. This is a blue pond and it means X. This is a white pond. It means the opposite of X. Together, they cancel each other out and make a pair of zero. Today I will be teaching you the problem 4x plus 3 equals 2x plus 7. So I have the problem set up right here. So what we first need what we need to do first is we need to take away these two pawns. So we're gonna add the opposite of pawn we're gonna add the opposite to both sides. We're gonna take these away, take these away, and then we can take these away, and so now we are left with 2x plus positive three equals positive seven. But that won't work. So we need to take away, we need to take away the, the three. So what we're gonna do is we're going to subtract this. So we're going to add negative three to each one. This equals a pair of zero, so we're gonna get rid of that. But if we take positive seven minus three, it equals positive four. So our answer is two X equals positive four. So my next problem will be the opposite of three X plus two equals negative 10 plus X. So I have the problem set up right here, just as the last one. So the first we need, we need to do is we need to get rid of this one this x. So we're going to add the opposite of x to each side. This is a pair of zeros, so we can take that away. Now we need to get rid of the 2, the positive 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to add negative 2 to each side. This is a pair of zero, so we're going to get rid of that. Okay. Um, next, we are going to add these, which equals negative 12. So our answer will be the opposite of 4x equals negative 12. My, my third problem that I will be doing is the opposite of 3x plus positive 5 plus x equals 2x plus negative 3. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to use the commutative property to switch these around. Perfect, then this is a legal move, I hope. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to take these two white pawns away. So we are going to add two blue pawns to each side. So this is a legal move. This is a legal move. So next, we need to add negative three to each side. Positive three, I mean, sorry. This is a pair of zero. When you add these together, you get positive eight. So the answer is positive eight equals four X. My question is if you're recording or not. <laughs> I've been recording for a few seconds now. <laughs>